tomorrow, you guys, we're going to be talking about commission. And um, this, if you're outgoing and friendly, you may want to be a salesperson. Um, you might work in retail, selling furniture or cars, or um, you might be selling, might sell plumbing supplies. I have a friend who sells, um, it's a uh, large building equipment, so um, any of the metal framework for a large building, um, large scale construction equipment. And um, because he's good with people, he makes a lot of money working, um, selling his construction tool items. Um, and then the, the beautiful part about what he does is all he has to do is make sales. If he makes enough sales, then he gets to set his schedule. Um, he's able to coach basketball here. Um, so it's, it's a good, if you're good at sales, it's a good gig to have. Um, often you, when you're a sales person, your sales are based, your money, your pay is based on commission. And then this is the amount of money you are paid for selling a product or service. Commission works in two ways. First, you might work on a commission rate. This is either a specified amount of money paid for each sale or a percent of the total value of your sales. If the commission is the only pay you receive, you work on straight commission. So that means no sales, you won't get any, anything in your paycheck. So straight commission is when you work working only for commission. The formula for calculating straight commission is total sales times commission rate. How much you got? in sales times the commission rate. All right, so the hardest part, the, har the most difficult part of this process is going to be figuring out the percent. So um, just to let you know, if you have a calculator like my TI-30, um, if you're a smart percent person, please let somebody that struggles with percents use the TI-30s because these ones have the percent key. On these calculators, you can type in exactly what it says. So if we do our Bob Morales sells commercial real estate problem, um, at a 7.5% straight commission, last week his sales totaled 290000 What? was his commission. So it looks your work looks like this. 290,000 times 7 and a half. In your calculator for those of you guys who are good at percents, it'll look like 0.075. So if I'm putting this in my TI um 30 calculator, I'm putting the 290000. I'm putting the multiplication. I'm putting the 7.5. And then I'm hitting the percent key. The percent key on the calculator is second and second and then let me find it. The comma? Nope, not a comma. Second and the first open parenthesis. So to get this, you hit the second button, and then you hit the button that has the open parenthesis. And it's got a percent on top. And then hit the equal sign. Otherwise, you are moving the decimal two places to the left. So if this were 7.5% to use it in my calculator, so these are for my people that are good with decimals, I'm going to move this one, two places to the left. So in my calculator, it's at point, sorry, 
Oh, I, I moved. Okay, got, got really loopy on that. Okay, two places. One, two. There we go. So it's 0 0.075 percent. Otherwise, I'm just going to encourage you, if you're terrible at percents, I'm going to encourage you to use the calculator, use the percent key. Um, if dur uh, During this time, if you don't know how to do that and can't get the right answer out, then um, I'll help you with that. All right, so you guys, we are going to take a couple moments and multiply 9,400 by 8% and 1,400. 143,400 by 5.5%. I'm just I I'm going to expedite the process here. So, we're going to you can either multiply 9400 by 8% if your calculator has that capability or you can multiply it by 0 0.08. When you do that, you get $752. If you did not put in the dollar sign, Please go ahead and add that to the front of that 752. We're talking money here, so I want you guys to understand it's a paid. Okay, so when you multiply 143,400 by either 5.5% 5 .5 or 0 0.055, you get $7,887. Please put a dollar sign in front of that. The next part of this, a minimum salary. Instead of working only on commission, you might be guaranteed a minimum weekly or monthly salary. In some cases, the commission you earn each week or month is compared with your minimum salary and your gross pay, which is the total pay, is higher is the higher of the two amounts. So say you have a low sales week, they'll either give you the commission on your sales or the minimum salary, whichever one is more. In other cases, you might be paid a base salary and earn commission in addition to the base salary. There's some different types. Um, it just depends upon the company you're working for. All right, this is probably the hardest topic in this whole chapter is the graduated commission. What a graduated commission is intended to do is to reward you for selling more. So if you only sell a little bit, you make a little percentage. If you sell more, like, yeah, then you make more of a percentage. If you sell a lot, then they'll make they'll give you a bigger percentage. So that's the graduated commission idea. So your commission rate may increase as your sales increase. A graduated commission offers a different rate of commission for each of several levels of sales. It provides an extra incentive to sell more. The general formula is the sum of commissions for all levels of sales. Somebody tell me what sum means again? It's adding them all together. So whenever you see the word sum, it's just making you add them all together. So it's all of your different levels of, commis of commissions added together. So let's look at Irene Gomez. She sells appliances at Twin City Sales. She receives a graduated commission as shown. So for the first $1,000 of appliances she sells, she makes 4%. For the next $2,000 in sales she makes, she gets 6%. Anything over $3,000 in sales and she gets 8%. That is double what her original commission is. So she gets if she can get to that 3,000 mark, then anything over that, she earns 8%. So her sales for the past month is $9,840. What is her commission? So I like to use the box as my um, workstation. So whenever you get this graduated commission, 
All except the last box. So I'm going to circle the last box because this is special. All except the last box is an easy multiplication calculation. You just take 4% times the $1,000 to get $40. You take the 6%, so that's um, in case you guys are using the non-percent calculators. Um, 6% times the $2,000, that's $120. Here is the tricky part. This over means minus. So underneath the over sign, put a minus. Because you're going to take your total and minus that over part. So 9,840 minus 3,000. I can do that without a calculator. That's 6,840. And that is what gets multiplied by your 8%. And that's $547.20. And then because we're summing those, we add them all together. $707.20. Okay, so the First, anything above that last row is a straight multiplication. The last row is a minus your total and then a multiplication. That's the process. The thought is that you guys are getting paid more percentage for selling more. So number one, he makes 10% on the first 5,000, so that's a straight up multiplication. 10% times 5,000, I know what that is, that's 500, I don't even, even need a calculator for that. And then 15% on any sales over 5,000, so that's that minus sign. So he made 15,000 in sales, so I'm going to go 15,000 over the 5,000, so that's a minus. That over in this situation means a minus. So what's 15,000 minus 5,000, Miranda? 10,000, and we want 15% of that. So that is one, two, three, four, 1,500. I don't even need a calculator. You guys should be impressed with my mental math skills. Now I'm going to sum the two together. And when you do number two, the final answer is $559.20.